we have been on a clean kitchen challenge. And we've gone over dishes, dinner time, and de-junking a Tupperware cabinet. But what do we call them? We call it a plastic ware, right? Storage, plastic storage ware cabinet in our kitchen. So today, I thought it would be perfectly appropriate to talk about the refrigerator, okay? One great rule of thumb to have is every time before you go food shopping, make sure that you clean out the fridge. Another thing that is really, really helpful is not buying too much when you go food shopping. Shop at home first. Now, not having a list also, um, it adds to the burden of too much stuff, too much to put away, too many things to get rid of, you know, wasteful food, a refrigerator that's jam packed, right? So make a list. This is, these are like some of the steps that really will help with keeping the refrigerator clean, right? Or at least not packed and yucky, right? I know that, you know, sometimes a refrigerator, I used to say that I had, what's the word, deductions, right? I, that I could claim some deductions that were living in my refrigerator because there was now living things in there, such as, you know, stuff that was growing on the food that I had in there for way too long. TMI? Well, if you're in my world, then it's probably not TMI. It's probably pretty refreshing to hear that you're not the only one, right? So here's some of the things that you can do to help with the refrigerator staying clean is one, make a grocery list before you go to the store. Now I do happen to have a meal plan grocery list and I can share with you a link that I have shared. I have actually shared a, a daily routine template and in that daily routine template I have a menu plan grocery store list in that. So I can share that link with you so you can have it. This is something I've been doing for years and years. I actually created a little template for myself years ago where I would have a menu on top, seven things, seven because there's seven days in the week, seven menu, seven things for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And then underneath that was the grocery list that I would have that I'd need to get everything that I needed for the menu. So that's one thing, having a list uh, know what you're going to eat this week and so that when you went food shopping you didn't just buy random things it also saves you a lot of money to do it this way and it saves you in um, physical self too like losing weight or just keeping fit because when we're hungry we'll eat just about anything so that's one thing okay I'll, I'll, maybe I'll elaborate a little bit more on that in another video then there is the before you go food shopping or if you order online which I really recommend before it gets delivered you make sure that you de-junk your refrigerator. Go through all of the containers, all of the leftovers, all of the food that you've had in there that maybe you didn't use and it's not so good anymore, right? And just chuck it all, get rid of it. Empty out the containers, wash the containers, recycle the containers, find the foods that are like moldy and old and wilt wilted, like if you have um, celery in there for six years, right? Or some lettuce that's now like, oh my gosh, I can't use that. Maybe some peppers that look like they have, you know, aged a few thousand years, right? and you get rid of all of those before the food comes in. So that will really, really help. Now, as far as the challenge of cleaning the refrigerator, that's what I really would like to do. I'd really like you to get on board and get like a, a clean slate of that fridge. So plan a day, or you can really do this in little steps throughout the week. And you could just do what I said about the um, the you know items on that you need to get rid of right and you can just take one shelf at a time or one area at a time so say the top shelf right the entire top shelf you could take everything off the entire top shelf that doesn't work you don't need shouldn't be in there is gross needs to get you need to get rid of whatever right do that then take that shelf out and clean it. Sometimes these shelves are kind of big and it's just so much better putting it in the bathtub than it is to do it at the sink. Sometimes it isn't that bad where you can just spray it inside the refrigerator, wipe it down, right? And get, of course, I would recommend not doing anything that's caustic or toxic or anything like that. Um, some essential oil kind of cleaning spray would be good or some um, baking soda on a, on a rag with a little bit of like Dawn or something like that, and then wipe it down, right? If your refrigerator is really, really yucky, right? You're definitely gonna wanna take out the shelf and then clean the walls of the fridge and then put it back and put the things that are appropriate back on there and do the rest. You're done for today, right? 
if you, if you don't want to do it all at one time. Sometimes we overwhelm ourselves and then we see all the work that we have to do as like something that's like, oh God, I'm not going there. I'm not going to do that. I hate this. I don't want to do it. So we can set ourselves up for success by recognizing that's what we do and then saying, okay, well, how can I break this up so that I don't get to that point? So this is a great way that maybe you could do that. Then you have the next shelf, say tomorrow, right? The next shelf, that's all you have to concentrate on. Nothing else, just that particular shelf. So you do that shelf, exactly what I said before. Clean it, clean the wall area of that. And then tomorrow, work on a draw. Like say you have like, you know, one of those drawers for vegetables bin or um, cold cuts or something like that. Take that draw out, right? And what are we on? Just day three. That's all. And then we have two more days and we have the door and we probably have a couple more um, drawers and a shelf, right? So work on it accordingly or say on the weekend, you would break it up to do like, all right, I'm going to do two shelves today. I'll do one this morning and one before dinner, right? So keeping yourself to the, in a situation where you're not bringing more food in than you need to so that the refrigerator is like over crammed with stuff and all of that, right, really, really will help. Making yourself a list, and we'll get into a little bit more of that maybe tomorrow if, that's, if you, that interests you on that, like the um, – grocery list thing, meal plan grocery list, then clean the refrigerator out, right? Clean it out shelf by shelf, day by day until it's done. And then all you have to do is once a week, give it a once over. Schedule in a day where it's like refrigerator day. Now we have a day of the week that we call once over day, right? And so you could do it then. You could just give yourself a once over day and have it then. Or you could do like what I do with the refrigerator is we have zones and we clean the house in zones. So we start in any area that we determine to be specific zones. And when I'm in the kitchen zone, that's when I really concentrate on the refrigerator. And then on my grocery day, when I go grocery shopping, that's my prompt to spruce up the fridge. So it always stays like on top of, I'm always on top of it. And then once a month, it gets a pretty thorough cleaning. And if you do this re regularly, the thorough cleaning is not a big, long, drawn out process. The um, thorough cleaning is a really quick go through. It's really a beautiful thing. And another thing that I didn't mention is be really mindful of the messes now. We have something that's called the do it now habit. And if you subscribe to my 10 tips and you have gotten that, and if you're not subscribed to my 10 tips, you can get them. If you go to the titantutor.com, you put in your name, name and email, you'll get one tip a day for 10 days. And one of those tips is called do it now. And I give you all of these scenarios and all of these circumstances and consequences of not doing it now, why we do it now, some things that make us say, well, do that later, right? And so I go into all of that in there. So doing, if we can start saying in my, our mind, do it now. Remember, if you've been going through any of these videos with me, you've seen in the, in I think just yesterday's, I think I've mentioned it all the time, the work perception of time that us organizationally challenged people have, right? We have a work perception of time. So we think everything, we think, we thinks, we think everything takes too long, right? And it, it really, it really doesn't. Things don't take too long. So getting this um, situation taken care of in the refrigerator, right? Um, with realizing that it really doesn't take as long as we think it does. And then just implementing, right? Just implementing and the whole do it now thing. Th that's the reason why we say I'll do it later is because of that war perception of time. And we think that it'll take too long. So if you spill some lemonade, you, you spill some, 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 maybe some ketchup is hanging off of the ketchup bottle. And now it's kind of stuck to the side of the refrigerator. You say you have an onion that you cut in half and you put that onion in maybe a baggie or just by itself on and now it's looking like you know you could claim it as a dependent right you, you need a social security number you know we tend to say oh i'll do that later i'll do that later because we think everything takes too long so implement the do it now habit when it comes to the refrigerator even if your refrigerator is really really yucky right now and you haven't started cleaning it you could still incorporate the do it now habit and this way at least everything that's going on in there right now will remain status quo it won't be like more work that you'll have to do down the road at least what it is now it's going to stay as and then just work on those things like when we are doing anything, getting started with it, it always feels like a big 
pain in the butt and a drag like oh my god but it's true and it really is true I'm not gonna lie to you like well, why would I lie to you but I mean really don't you hate when people say that I'm not gonna lie to you what are you gonna lie to me or let me be honest with you what are you gonna not be honest with me that doesn't make any sense to me but whatever okay so I'm gonna tell you if you haven't cleaned your refrigerator out in a long time you're gonna have gunk in there you're gonna have stuff you don't want to deal with you're gonna have some smelly issues as well it's gonna take you a little bit longer to do it but once it's done it's done and if you maintain it oh my goodness it's like it's like get out of jail free card amen okay so I'd love to hear what you thought about this and I want to know if you're gonna do it all right and then I'd love for you to post you know that you did do it when you did do it and the experience that you had with it all right so I'm gonna look at any comments and if you have any comment right now then please type it in and I'll answer your question if you have a question or read your comment Okay, so, Audrey, how do people clean their freezers without turning off their entire refrigerator? Well, all right, that's another thing. We didn't talk about the refrigerator. We would want to do the same thing with the freezer, okay? Um, now, generally, there isn't, a, there's hardly any shelves in there, probably maybe one shelf, right? Unless you have a double door, then there are more shelves in there. But just do the same thing, right? Take out the things, and then just, you just want to need a very hot rag that's all right you just need a very hot rag and just you know when you put it down in the refrigerator it takes a second for that rag to like um, melt that coldness that's there because if you just put it down and try to rub it's going to get stuck right there so have a very 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 warm rag put it down on the fridge and then just push just push it will work it'll happen you might have to go back to get you know more of the hotness on it but just do that it will work you don't have to doesn't have to be all shut down okay um, depending on how bad the free freezer is or how long it's been since you do it is however long it's going to take for you to go back with another rag the freezer door might have to be open for longer than you normally would like but remember once you do it it's done and then all you have to do is maintain and you know we talked a little bit about the maintenance of it you know um, but we will continue to talk a little bit more on that all right, so there was that. Thank you for the question, Audrey. Love you. All right, Harriet said, what kind of storage items can you suggest for the fridge and freezer? Well, you know what? Have you ever seen some of the things they have, like if you Google it or if you go on Pinterest, they have some great ideas for the refrigerator. Now, remember this, though, okay? Think of what will work for you. I know I've seen some that I'm like, oh, my God, that's ingenious. But in real life, I know me and I am not going to do it. If you know that you are not going to like maintain that like storage something that they use, then just don't do it, right? Make it be your own. I have seen some like, you know, YouTube videos where people have, you know, come home from like a dollar store thing for the refrigerator and they just got like little containers and then had the refrigerator with items in it in containers and I think that's great I love it now do I know where to find that information no but can I get it for you yeah I'll dig and see what I think is really really great info and I'll share that with you okay I'll share the link to whatever it is that they do that because I really do think that some of those things are just ingenious but remember this the more stuff you have the more you have to take care of. It's one of the reasons why I can't stand shower caddies and those things that you, you know, like like say the shower caddy that is on a, that where the water comes out, you know, the spigot for the shower, and it hangs on there, and then you have your shampoo and everything in there. It's just another freaking thing to keep clean. It's just another thing to get gunky. Like, I can't stand them. So think it through before you get whatever it is because while it might make it more organized right and easy to get to it's also something that is going to require more of your time and more of your energy and effort to keep up with all right it really really can work but what i would do is honestly if your refrigerator is a wreck like if it's always kind of a mess and if it's always something that like you know you you never ask for help at a party because god forbid they opened your refrigerator and helped you oh no 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 thank you i'm fine in the back of your mind you're thinking holy smokes i would love help but if god forbid they open our refrigerator i can't let them do that so we have to say no right i haven't been there in a long time boy do i remember it so if that's the case then what i would do is 
I wouldn't get any of those fancy things or they're not even fancy. Some of them are just plastic containers that are in different sizes so that you could put things in them in the refrigerator, right? They're, they aren't really even fancy, but anything that's extra until after you've maintained your refrigerator for a little while and you know I am going to take care of those things. I'm going to make the effort to do it once a week before I go food shopping and then once a month to really keep it up. If that's the case and you know you're, you're not going to, then just don't do it yet, all right? Just, just don't do it yet. So there's that. Okay, so there was that. Let me see what else. Um, you're welcome, Harriet. Audrey said, thanks for the tip about the hot rag. Um, I have crumbs and ice cream goobers in my freezer. I've tried to get it out. But my rag always freezes. Yes, it does. It freezes on contact. It's true. Make it really, really hot, really hot, you know, without burning your hands. And then, or if you want, you could wear rubber gloves, you know, not the light rubber gloves like those, um, you know, those little thicker rubber gloves. I don't know what they're called. And then, um, and just put it in there, hold it for a second, and then move it along. It'll, it'll work. Okay. I mean, I've had refrigerators where I've had to have a hot bucket and then squeeze the rag onto it because of like old ice cream cake that was on there for God knows how long and stuff. Yeah. One little rag thing is not going to work and you can't scrape it. You know, you can't do that. You'll damage the refrigerator. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you loosen that stuff up and then maybe um, one of those, uh, you know, scrunches that are plastic, you know, the plastic kind, but definitely, I know this sounds like so stupid to say, because sometimes we're like, oh my God, really? But sometimes it really is necessary to see what the manufacturer suggests as far as like, you know, with bathtub, you don't want to use Comet Cleanser on the kind of bathtubs that they have today because they're fiberglass and they don't recommend them. So that's the kind of thing, right? So there's just that. Okay. Um, my shower caddy is filled with stuff that's very old. Yeah, get rid of that shower caddy. Now, if I believe I have, I think, I'm pretty sure I have on this page about my bathroom swish, right? And one of the things I recommend for my bathroom swish thing is, and for so many other things in our lives as far as what we have going on, is don't have, you know, a whole bunch of stuff and bottles and things everywhere. Get one container and just put it all in there. Now I'll do this in another video because otherwise this will get really long, but um, remind me, Harriet, okay, to do a video about that, about the bathroom thing that I have going on that works so beautifully. I mean, even people who are organizationally gifted that I've worked with, because believe it or not, they are overwhelmed as well, and maybe they don't need the exact kind of help that us organizationally challenged do, but they have finding life to be very difficult to manage. You know, maybe they do go to bed with all their dishes done and everything right in the house, but they have no more time to sit down with their husband or wife or to really like connect with their babies. They're always working because life has gotten so busy. So even the organizationally gifted people, they really, really have benefited from this one specific tip that we'll talk about another time because I'm going on forever. Okay. Um, let's see. Replying to Audrey, Harriet said, hot water and Dawn platinum dish soap. Beautiful. I love Dawn. Love it. Okay. Okay. That's great. All right. So if there's any other comments or questions, let me know. What I do is I take this Facebook Live that I did and then I edit it so that, you know, it's just a lot more fun kind of. And um, the reason I say it's a lot more fun is because I'll put like words in there and images and stuff that I could put in a edited video and I condense it so that there's no rambling and um, I get it up on YouTube and I share it in a page that's on my website so I'm having all of these all together on one section of page so that you don't have to scroll for them or search for them and everything will be there for you so if you go to my website thetidytutor.com and you put in your name and email to get my 10 tips you'll be on the email list that I have for when I send out this kind of thing so I will be sending out this to everybody. So you're welcome to be a part of that. That would be great. All right. So I'll sign out now. And thank you for being in my world. And if, like I said, if you want anything that you have any other questions about anything, put it in there and I'll cover it. Okay. Bye.